evening, this is the Hawk. Let's talk about some uh, similarities of what's been going on in the last uh, month or so. But first of all, let's talk about the ghost soldier that was in the inauguration of Ramaphosa during, for the presidential elections and elections in South Africa. Well, uh, let's talk about this uh, uh, ace guy in Zuma. There's a there's a rift in the ANC regarding these these three characters, um, Zuma, and this ace. Uh, they uh, there's a there's a massive division in the ANC between these three. Ace is in the middle, stirring with, with Zuma, and then you have Ramaphosa, and with this uh, ghost soldier in there. I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't part of this rift between the ANC in inside the ANC. Now, since the elections, uh, Ramaphosa came out uh, the other day and stated that the white farmer attacks were merely um, uh, just crime, and we are making this into a white problem, which is absolute nonsense. Having said that, with uh, we have. Um, the EFF and numerous other characters posting stuff on the internet uh, that shows the radical, um, just radical racism uh, that is going on with the, with the EFF going into the prisons and recruiting uh, uh, killers to, to murder people. And here on, are a number of these things we found on the internet showing that the support of uh, killing children, white children, uh, on that bridge in Benoni on, uh, near Soweto. And um, just outright, it's okay to kill people, you know. Uh, there's numerous of these um, things. We're going to put them up. And it just shows you, look at Masatama again. Also, let's rehearse uh, to, for revolution. Now, we heard that uh, they are, they are in the process of attacking farms in the southern, in the Cape. Uh, this is uh, just what happened the other day. But before we get to that, let's look at the, just the constant um, rhetoric by these putting, put people putting these racist comments on, on the internet. And nobody's doing it. The government's okay to arrest white people for saying the K word, but yet these people are actually spewing racism on the internet on every forum. Now, let's see the coalition of what we're talking about before. Now, this lady was a DA uh, uh, counselor, part of the DA, and so was the other lady. Um, they found this lady and her husband uh, murdered. And uh, there's a, another lady that was uh, this lady here with the horse. Uh, she was also a DA uh, member, also murdered, but she was also an activist. Now the gentleman on your left, on, uh, uh, on the right there, had brought an interdict against uh, the uh, BLF for slums, for uh, squatters on his property, and he won the case. And suddenly they were all gone. A few days later, four gentlemen walked in his house and shot him in front of his family. Now, Mr. Ramaphosa, I don't care what you say, and I'll call you a mister because you don't deserve the presidency. Um, based on, on the fact that this, these, uh, this crime is now has just become absolutely rampant. Now we will put up a number of uh, statistics since the 1st of May. I mean, it's just incredible. And these are all farms. Now you cannot deny this list. One after the other, after the other, after the other of crimes, of murder, assault, tying up, torture. And these are farm murders. Ramaphosa, I don't care what you say, you're lying to the people. Now look at the statistics on this, on this, and this is coming from the newspaper. Look at the amount of attacks that are happening on farms all over the country. It's ridiculous. 
you can't you cannot you cannot not justify this to the world that this is not happening and this is something to do with uh um just a white thing i, I spoke to a black gentleman today who stated that it's just as dangerous for them to be on farms as it is for the whites now you imagine the whites are producing 90 percent of the food in south africa these are subsistence farmers. These are farmers that are actually bringing in the food for the whole of Southern Africa. They are being slaughtered by the numbers and it's just a lie by the ANC to remove the whites in South Africa. It was orchestrated from 1993 uh, by Ramaphosa and they introduced it as soon as Mandela died. It's just a fact of life. He is lying. He is creating any kind of excuse so people will just calm down and just look the other way. Well, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Now, uh, in the last uh, if, uh, couple of days, we've had over 200 attacks on trucks. These trucks are being, these truck drivers are being employed by South African companies. They travel between Botswana, Zambia, Congo, Rhodesia, or Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. What's happening is the drivers' unions are attacking these drivers, and there's been an interdict filed in the, in the uh, uh, South African uh, courts to stop the unions from attacking these drivers, and they're actually posting these uh, uh, posters up telling foreign drivers to leave the country within two weeks or face the consequences. Well, what is happening now, the consequences of that is retaliation, not only in the Congo, but Lesotho, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Mozambique. They are threatening South African drivers. They're taking them out of the trucks, they're killing them, and they're burning their trucks now. They have been warned that this will happen as well, and it is happening. The xenophobia has now become ridiculous because of the trade unions in South Africa, as usual, not thinking past their noses. Look, if you wanted to drive these trucks, why didn't you hire your own people? The problem is South African companies are hiring these foreign workers because they're prepared to work. They're not prepared to steal. And this is exactly what's happening. So now they're killing drivers on the freeways by throwing bricks through their trucks, killing the driver and stealing all their property in the trucks. This is happening over and over and over again and the government's doing nothing about it. The police are standing there and watching the looters take the stuff while the driver's dead man on the side of the street. This is what's happening in South Africa. Now, the police are culpable and, and, and uh, uh advocating the same thing because they're not they actually assisting these these looters this needs to stop and this proves that the economy right now is about to collapse because just in the last few days with this ace uh, the ace uh, the anc uh, have now declared that they want to take the uh, reserve bank and i think the eff actually filed a thing to to uh, now have the the, the um, reserve bank taken and national as well as soon as they did that the the um, economy started to collapse the rands now up to 15 plus and uh, the standard bank has closed about a hundred br uh, branches throughout South Africa and are soon to collapse some more and move out of South Africa because they cannot sustain what's happening the, the the monetary fund is going to collapse. Your economy is collapsing because of the erroneous decisions made by the ANC government. Having said that, the ABSA Bank is under under investigation for corruption, wrong money laundering, and a number of other things as well. And we've been saying this for months. Um, numerous people are involved, and the ANC is being funded by ABSA Bank, which is also Barclays Bank of Britain which tells you what's really going on. The British government is part of this, this mess that's going on. It's funny that the royal family has not said anything about the murders and torture of people in South Africa that used to be their subjects. Not one word. 
Now, in the last couple of days, we see this teacher here, uh, Linda uh, Breiten, Breitenbach, 66. She was a, a, quite a famous teacher. Well, she was t attacked and murdered and, and excuse what I'm about to tell you, is quite graphic. She had her breasts removed during this, this murder. Funny enough, they found another young lady also in uh, Johannesburg, or uh, I think this young lady here. Also, same thing. She was murdered and her breasts were removed and a 19-year-old was found uh, and arrested for this thing. I find that ironic that why would two women be attacked and have both of them have their breasts removed? I suspected this is the same fellow that's doing it. Um, I'll close. In my closing, I was just going to say, well, in the last um, week, Ramaphosa has categorically stated that uh, the murders in South Africa are based on um, racist white agendas, and it's merely crime. No, it's not crime. These statistics don't lie. Therefore, why, if it was crime, why are they torturing these people, raping them and murdering them? This is not, this is not just crime. This is deliberate genocide. This is deliberate murder and it's deliberate torture. And the South African government is complicit in this thing because they orchestrated the 1993 document of boiling the frog. And Ramaphosa, Cyril Ramaphosa, is responsible for this document. Therefore, we as USAC charge him in abstention for human rights violations because he's orchestrated this. He is denying the fact that it's happening because he is part of the system of this crime. I'm calling on the international communities to condemn Ramaphosa, do not deal with him in Switzerland, and to put uh, sanction the South African government as they said they would in the in the Five Nations document that was signed a few months ago, warning Ramaphosa of what would happen. This needs to stop now. To all South Africans, black and white. Do not support this kind of crime and report it. Your country is about to collapse economically if you continue down this road. This is a hawk. I'm signing off. Good night. I'm out of here. Be safe. And look at your brother and sister. They're your countrymen, not colors. Good night.